heard that the sound is 50% of every shot. If you're working in the video industry, you know how hard it may be to choose the right track for your project. We spend hours searching for the right track. With this video, I won't speed up your music searching process, but I would let you know what service I use for my YouTube activity commercial work and why. I've been through almost all of the royalty-free music websites out there. I used them all for years. And my final choice for the last couple of years is Artlist. You might have guessed the video is sponsored by them. But it's important to mention that I was using their service for my own money for a long time before they reached out. Without this video, I would still be using their services. I'll start with one of the main reasons why I use their service. Lifelong license for any music I download. This means that whatever music you downloaded during your subscription period will still be available to you after you terminate your subscription. This is really important point to consider because other royalty-free resources operate differently. For example, I have a video with the music from another service that I decided not to use anymore. The video with that music was published while my subscription was still active. Since I'm not subscribed to that service anymore, every time I reference that video in any other videos, I get copyright strikes. First time I discovered that I was really frustrated and upset I contacted the company they said that's how we work well that's not going to happen with Artlist now that we got that bureaucracy out of the way why Artlist? In my videos I rarely use dubstep, funky, electro music kind of stuff. Artlist have a lot of that, but I was looking for something more subtle, more beautiful, more cinematic. And Artlist has a curated, dedicated playlists just for that. One of the cool features is that you can follow your favorite composers on their website. I follow quite a few guys that are composing the music music that I particularly like. Before diving into crazy long lists, I first check my favorite authors, if they have anything suitable. If they don't, then I go to the main playlists and try my luck there. All that is user experience, the website is nice, it's dark, it's neat, it's clean, everything is there. They're a lot like me, uh, the, the, I don't know, the, the style, everything is similar to me. The thing about Artlist's content uh, can be considered as negative actually, but the music they host on their website is non-exclusive. It means that the composers can post their music wherever else they want. But I view this as a benefit because Artlist really curates uh, their playlists and they're really picking the top songs for you guys to use. While other services are concentrating on producing their own unique content, Artlist is choosing and inviting the best from all over the place. A variety of moods, playlists, genres, uh, instruments, anything for $200 a year. Yeah, that's a no-brainer, I'm using this. Have you liked the intro sequence, by the way? They did not ask me to say this about this at all, but the, all the shots from this intro sequence are from the other service these guys are providing. There are a lot of cases when you need to enhance your edit and you're missing one or two shots. Artgrid is not just a stock video, it's uh, just rushes left from DPs, from real sets, from real scenarios, graded, ungraded, ProRes, RAW, whatever, high resolution stuff for you to use in your edit. And it's subscription based too. Just by using Artlist and Artgrid, I was able to create something dope. If you're on a lookout for a new music service, check art list out. Keep in mind they are charging for one year in advance. But using the link under my videos you can get two months free. Exclusive. This would be it for this video guys. Thank you for your time. Peace. Don't forget to use the link under the video.